This couple bought an airplane for $61.99 and made a boat. This is a flying penthouse, a Boeing 307 Stratoliner that's been modified for private VIP transportation. In fact, this is Howard Hughes' personal flying penthouse. The cockpits on these planes were state-of-the-art for their time. In 1964, a hurricane rendered the plane inoperable. It was then moved to a plane graveyard to live out its remaining days among the husks and shells of other planes. In 1969, the plane was bought as scrap for $61.99 by a man named Kenneth W. London, a local realtor and pilot. Unable to make the plane flyable again, he cut the wings off and transported the fuselage to a local marina. Kenneth then spent the next four years transforming this giant shell into something amazing. He turned it into a fully functioning and incredibly unique looking motor yacht. They decided to name the vessel the London Air. It officially set sail for the first time in July of 1974. In 1981, the boat was bought by a man named Dave Drimmer. He named the vessel Cosmic Muffin after publication of Jimmy Buffett's novel, Where is Joe Merchant? The ship was even featured in a Jimmy Buffett music video. That's some luxury cruising right there. The boat had to be extensively rebuilt and remodeled after Dave found out that the original hull was barely holding the boat together. The original cockpit plane controls are what controls the boat. Two V8 inboard motors power this incredible piece of restoration through the water. This thing can hit up to 20 miles an hour in the water. Dave Drimmer actually bought this boat as a live aboard houseboat. I would never leave it if I owned this thing. He does let other people come aboard and tour the boat and take pictures for free, however. Dave now has plans for private charters, elementary education, and non-profit fundraising projects. This would be a pretty cool sight to see docked up next to the street. This crazy machine has seen a lot in the time it's been around. This is one crazy project. I don't think I would ever have had a vision of repurposing a plane and turning it into a fully functioning watercraft. It took years to accomplish the feat, so it couldn't have been easy at all. This thing is legendary around the coast of Florida, though, and we can only hope the current owner sticks with his plan of keeping this thing out onto the water.